I mean, why do I have to look at? Dang it. Which one I have to look at? All right. This is four or five to choose from. Whatever you want. Yeah. You got lots of options. Or you can look over here. Do not look down. Yeah. Yeah, don't look down. But you can, you can admire the orange shag carpet. I love it, actually. Like. <laughs> I don't know, but Sesame Street comes to mind. For some reason. <laughs> ah. I don't know what it is, man. And then the oh, yellow orange. Big Bird? Yeah. <laughs> nice. All kinds of memories going Got on. Got it. <laughs> so today, South Bay Real Estate. Uh, interest rate update. Of course, we have the Mortgage Geek here, and Ryan and Lilia Bronco are here for the first time. Welcome yep. to the studio. Thank Welcome you. Welcome to the thank show. It's great to have yeah, you guys. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Hey, you know, South Bay, one of the hottest markets in San Diego County, has been forever. Um, I think everyone knows, you know, great price point, lots of value, newer construction, newer just areas, newer developments. Right. Um, so it's attracted a lot of people down there. Um, it's also sort of been a, a, a leading indicator in the marketplace because yeah. it has been that high value area. Um, so I'd love to get your input on kind of what, what's going on right now and what you forecast in the near future here. You know, it's a, it's a beautiful place, and I'll let my wife have some of this as well, but it's funny because we've been there since, geez, what, 2004, mm -hmm. five, wow. something like that. Nice. And you see rolling hills, like literally rolling hills with cows at one point. Now there's like the Millennia Project, which the company we used to work for, Macmillan, actually owned and then sold it to Stratford Land and turned it into this mammoth, you know, new little city in that South Bay. So it's it's a very green, environment, environmentally friendly place that's basically gonna have a couple schools. You're gonna have, um, you know, some office building there. They've got a few stores going up as well. A lot of development happening there, which is pretty exciting because the space is shrunk tremendously there. But you know, KB Homes is down there. Shea Homes, they're they're building you know these mammoth uh, three-story looking uh, you know townhomes that have elevators and such, and the views are incredible. You know, but that's just one aspect of it. You've got um, that's all in the Millennia project. That's all in the Millennia project. Just so right. Are the alone. price points going to be higher for that? They're a lot higher. Yeah, Your price higher. per square foot's a lot higher. It's a more modern look. It's something I don't know if you're fami familiar with. Um, Mexico, but there's a lot of design that's very similar to what you know my wife and I see in Mexico, um, and it's it's neat. It's very modern, but it's also different from the area because what we noticed back in 2005 is totally different from today. And you know, even the homes that are being built uh, with very small yard, <laughs> it's you know from Escaya, which is a new development um, that has like 22, 21, 22 different model homes back there. Um, by the amphitheater over, yes. I don't mm -hmm. know if you're, you yeah, guys are yeah. familiar with that area. Yep. So, you know, that they Kiss. just, yeah, yeah. right. Def they, Leppard. Yeah, Def Leppard, you yes. know, all the concerts. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> we get to hear them all because it echoes throughout the area. Does you know, it? yeah, it's funny. They had Duran Duran last summer, and I was like, I know that song, not to date myself. <laughs> 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 That's but awesome. I'm like, I know that group, <laughs> you know? And um, so it, it's one of those areas where. You know, companies like, uh, what is it, Brookfield and um, uh, Shea Homes, a, there's a couple, Cal Atlantic, they have, you know, some beautiful model homes are building back there. Gorgeous construction. Yeah, Gorgeous. real big homes. Very spacious, open floor plan, a lot of light, beautiful construction. Yeah, and a lot of, um, a lot of our sellers, you know, they wanted new, but they couldn't find new because of the inventory, yeah. you know, or they found something that was, you know, a resale home, beautiful home in Eastlake, but getting your offer accepted, and, and believe me, we know how to negotiate very well. That's one of our strongest points in our in our business is negotiations. But when you have those, you know, buyers that are coming in with a, a nice chunk down and they close quick, non-contingent offers, it mm. makes it kind of tight for people to, you know, get into a home when they're maybe contingent slightly because they've got 30 days until their home closes, and you know you've got negative 1.3 inventory on the market. So it's like all these these homes that come that are very exciting for these buyers end up flying off the market and they don't have a chance to get something except if they go new. And that's where I think the builders are capitalizing right now because of that lack of inventory. Mm. But it's it's a good thing, but it's also a shortage thing right now for that detached home market right now. I'm sorry. Yeah, Especially in the non-contingent. Yeah, non-contingency, I mean, um, mm -hmm. also in that sweet spot price range. Yes. So like median, you know, detached, Home price in San Diego County is now almost six hundred thousand. I know it's crazy. That's bonkers. I yeah. swear that we were just talking like a year and a half ago at like four fifty. 
It was like, it was, it it was high fours. Like, high yeah. fours? Yeah, it was like high fours. Well, and still, if you include the attached, it's still like in the, the low fives, like 535 or 540 or something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you know what it trips me out though too is, I get the people that talk about, oh, it's, it's gonna be a crash, you know? And we, we get, you know, the proper consulting, so we won't understand. I mean, Tom Ferry's our coach, you know, shout out to Tom Ferry and his crew because they're awesome and they get the right advice to people. And honestly, that's been a huge swing in our favor to understand a little bit more about the marketplace and what's happening um, because of the advice we're getting. Now, that's not to say that things can't taper off, but a crash, I mean, why is then VA going up to 649, 750, right? <laughs> Something like that. It's going to take a long time for a crash. So I, I'm going to just put it out there. You guys, don't be afraid of a crash because it, it's completely different than what happened in 2008. Right. Everyone's like, oh, but it's been going up for so long. Yeah, because we started at the bottom. Right. Like, True. We have so much space to actually cover. So if you're looking at 2007, hey, folks, that's 11 years ago. Okay, it's not like, like mm -hmm. oh, I'm comparing to 11 years ago. Great, that also was like a time in the industry where we've never experienced the sale of mortgages, the types of programs, 100%, 125%. So yes, I understand that values have gone up. We still have a lot of room to go compared to every other major market. So absolutely, I used to, I said I watched a video of myself like, uh, and I was like, the crash is coming, <laughs> and it got a lot of views. And now I'm like, the crash is not coming. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse. <laughs> but that's okay. I can't always be you know the smartest guy on the planet. Even right. Most of the time, <laughs> right. Ninety nine point nine percent. You know. <laughs> so, I mean, I think it's it's one thing to sell you know too early. It's another thing to sell too late. Right. You sell too early. That's okay. Yeah. You sell too late, then bad things can happen, right? So, I mean, from, from that video, I know which one you're talking about, you're like, yeah. okay, I sold everything, you know? Like, that's, I mean. I'm comfortable. Okay, you missed a year or two worth of equity, but you got seven years worth, so. Yeah, it, yeah so what's to complain? Like, I have a couple homes, um, uh, eight, uh, just interesting, because I'll talk about these because they're right in the heart of East Lake. They're the area where the builders like paid off half of the Melaroos prior to building, so they're all gone now. There's no Melaroos. And they have a very low HOA fee, right? But they're fairly decent sized homes. I mean, 24, 2600 square foot. And they're neighbors. And I've got literally one listing that uh, if you're looking for a beautiful home, 825 Esperanza is still available. But the one right next to it, we're about to close June 20th. But it was completely updated. They put about 60,000 into the home. And you know, it's just, it's done right. And what I'm experiencing as a listing agent, as well as, um, Good catch, mortgage geek. Right. <laughs> I forgot something. There it is. Yeah, there now, go. now people know who you are, <laughs> Clark Kent. Bam! Yeah, who is this guy? <laughs> but those homes, they're still, you know, the, the funny thing is, is that the buyers are real picky. You know, if they're move-up buyers, they're not, um, they're not just throwing their money out there like they did in 05, 06. It's not the case. They're just basically very, very cautious moving forward. Well but they want to make well-educated buyers educated. that know the market, know how uh, what have sold, know know what is in the market right now. They want to know the schools, everything that is close by. So we have to bring that information and make them know what is the best potential for them and that's what we are experts in. in. Yeah. Besides, we have amazing schools uh, where children sure. go to uh, one yeah. of the schools in outside ranch. They just got an award for it. just gone, won best school in the South County in fourth place in the state of California, which wow. means that we are doing amazing things with yeah. the education in mm -hmm. the South Bay. So even parents, parents are very involved. And me, I volunteer in the school with my kids and Ryan does as well. We have festivals and all these things. It's a beautiful community. It's not just, oh, the Branco sell homes in the South Bay. No, we are involved in the community. We want to be part of it. We want to be influers, influencers in our area, that our kids have the best education because the parents are involved, because we know the people that live there, and it's a tight community. We mm -hmm. know each other. We play Jeez, together, work together. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful environment. I mean, I've known of you guys for a very long time, so <laughs> I'm uh, honored to be sitting in the same room same as you guys. Same to us. And, uh, so different same with the glasses us. on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm next to this guy, the <laughs> mortgage geek. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how, how would you guys rate the market right now on a just a hot scale, like one to ten? 
10 being the hottest possible market you, you've ever seen. Where would we be right now? 9.5. <laughs> she said 9.5. That was quick. I say we're kind of like a 7.5. Now that's just you know my opinion of it because I know buyers are in demand. That's just a given. But the you know the inventory it puts that pressure on, and with the you know the the pressure of the rates going up, you know we're still at historical lows. We're below five percent, which is great, but that's not for long, you know. And they're actually starting to creep up now because we've seen clients that uh, Sean's even approved for you know over five percent. It's kind yeah. of like whoa, now what? So we're back to where if you have a seven twenty plus FICO score back in 05 and you got a five and a quarter, you're like you know creme de la creme, right? Now you're like five and people are freaking out, but I've seen it worse. So the way I see it at seven and a half is just, again, it's hypothetical. I don't know the exact on that, but I see it because, you know, people are concerned, they have their concerns, but you know, if we're doing our job right and educating them on the market and make them understand, hey, it's safe to move forward, you're not gonna lose. Yeah. You know, if you're gonna sell now, it's not that you're going to lose. You're gonna still, you had seven years, like you said, in the house, you're, you're still gonna make money. Mm -hmm. It's just, you might not make as much as you anticipated, but you could make more, like this one seller I just talked to, we listed his home, but he wanted to hold it off because he's a little concerned about putting it on the market because he didn't know if he was gonna make that much. I said, well, think of it this way, you were just gonna go rent, and you're a VA, military guy. You wanna, you know, you need to buy. You, you're gonna, your contract's up in two years. I said, what happens if we just got into a home for a year and then your contract changes, you can rent that next year and then you know do what you want. At that point, you have all that equity you could take with you. Wonder if I gave you an additional 100 grand to take with you because he was gonna move back to like Atlanta and you could take that extra 100 grand and go and buy a home almost cash where you're gonna go. And he, he was like, well, I, I don't know if that's real. I said, well, here, let's go to Atlanta, let's check it out. And we showed him some of the homes. He's like, well, that's real. I'm like, yeah, it's real. So we educate them, you know, get, but this guy was afraid, but you have to educate them. You gotta show them the realities, yeah. you know? It's true how like the difference between where rents change and how rents change much more slowly, like on the stochastic, they're like slow moving, the rents are. But the home values can just like in a weekend just change. Exactly. Yeah. Like if your rates went up, remember when they went up a point in like 2014 in like a week? Yes. And it was July. just like. Shoo. No, I don't remember that time. I think it was like <laughs> July 22nd of 2013 <laughs> to August 5th. It was bonkers and it made me really upset. Yeah. yeah. Well, let, yeah. let's talk about the interest rates then because we've seen movements. We've yeah. Seen, you know, things have got, they've gone up a little bit. Absolutely. And you've always said that's a good thing. Uh, yeah, I, I, in the threes is like unrealistic to to hold it forever in the threes, right? Um, you know, the fours are still really good. Fives are amazing. Sixes are great. All those interest rates are awesome. You know, if you're comparing it to something of like an his, historic <laughs> yeah. time of like three and a half percent, it's like, okay, we get it. It's kind of like it's behind us, right? Mm -hmm. Our economy is actually doing really well. Mm -hmm. And our currency is strong so it's like yeah banks need to make money mm -hmm. right the government needs to make money we can't just keep everything because the public doesn't want the interest rates Correct. to go up right yeah. so right. we need to live in a, a normal market a normal Correct. market is like five and six percent that's still really low because it, we also forget like the interest that is calculated on a uh, on a 30-year fixed the banks actually kind of lose right on a 30-year fix what bank would ever in a you know, in a uh, profit situation, whatever, say, yeah, I'm going to give you 6% for 30 years, like inflation, you know, effective interest rate, you can pay me off sooner. Like the banks actually lose. So the amount of interest that you're actually paying is only, it's, it depends on how fast you want to hold your mortgage for. So if you don't want to pay the 6% or the 5%, we'll just apply more money towards your principal and the amount of effective interest rate is not 6%. Right. Right. Exactly. Effective um, interest rate is important. The effective yeah. interest yes. rate, and then on top of that, if it's a primary residence or a second home, and you're under the 750 cap, you get to write it off as a dollar-to-dollar -dollar deduction against your income. Exactly. We forget all that, right? Mm -hmm. So even if I have a five percent, and if I make one additional payment per year, plus I get to if I'm making over 150 thousand dollars, and I get to write that off against my income, well, the amount of effective interest rate that I'm really looking at is probably 
I would say in the threes. Yeah. If we really three. broke it down, broke it down. it'd probably even be under three, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So how much interest are we really paying? Not too much. Not too much. Right? Yeah. So I always like when I'm talking to an educating, I think education is, is key, right? When I'm talking to an individual or a borrower or a consumer, they're always saying, you know, oh my gosh, we're at the top of the market. Oh my gosh, the interest rates are going up. You guys, don't be scared over that stuff. Go and look at the asset. Go and look at your home and say, am I comfortable making this payment mm -hmm. for this place, watching myself live here, watching mm -hmm. my, my children grow up here? And if you're okay with that payment, then you will never, ever lose. Yeah. And in 10 years, you're going to go, wow, I made the right choice because people are renting homes today because they're like, well, I'm a little scared. You know, the interest rates are going up. It's like, get in now because in 10 years, if you're still renting, you're going to look back and say, I wish I bought 10 years ago. I've never heard someone say that they're not, you know, upset that they didn't buy mm -hmm. prior. It didn't right. matter what the market was. Right. No, and, it, and it's funny because you bring up a good point because that same gentleman I spoke to, he thought, well, I just want to play it safe. I'm like, play it safe. I mean, you got two more years of your rent going up because that's what's going to happen. And I what's said, safe? And yeah. what's safe, really? I mean, you have a fixed rate and it's going to basically lock it in, even if it's for 12 months or two years, whatever. The fact is, is that you are going to have that same payment. And the difference is, is that your rent's not going to appreciate and make you money. No, it's not. Your, 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 your basic housing allowance is not an investment tool now. It just mm -hmm. becomes money in the trash. Well, for living just expense. Just a pass-through. Yes. Just a pass-through. You know, and leverage it at all. And there's no leverage. <clears throat> so, you know, that, that's very important, especially for those guys who have families. You know, they have need. They have an autistic daughter, and it's like, look, man, that's, that's retirement <laughs> money for you. You know, don't pass up what you need in order to make your future better. Mm -hmm. So if I'm giving you the ability to pay off your house cash and give you the understanding of how to do that, I'm no longer just real estate agent Ryan, okay? I'm an advisor. That's what I do. I advise people. I give people advice based on, okay, I think after 16 years, you kind of finally start to learn some things going in the downs and then the up, and then you're realizing, okay, there's a little bit more to this, and now I can understand a little bit more on how to help people. So go help people, and that's what we do. We help people. We just keep helping people. And whether they take our advice or not, or if they want to, you know, go sell their home with, you know, Joe Bob down the street or this discount brokerages that don't do open houses, which we hate very much. <laughs> Don't worry. Me you, too. Yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, go ahead go ahead and do your thing because it's it's not affecting us. It's only affecting you and your finances, your financial future, mm -hmm. and you're the one at loss if you're not going to take the advice from the pros. Yes. The pros are the one that that know, and not just somebody who says it, but you can see the track record and you can see the the reviews. You can see what people say. You guys live it. You act it. You're there, not just somebody saying something on the exactly. outside or writing so something on, online. It's, it's the real so. deal, but for a reason because we have a passion for it. That's what we do this full time. We don't have, you know, oh, my husband's in the military. I do real estate part time. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but, you know, we do what we do because we love what we do. Yes. And we're both in it. So we either make it. And our or we children don't. are in it. They yeah. love it too. It, yeah, it, my video and my little now. girl takes her my <laughs> cards to the school and say to the, the other moms, "When you need to sell a house, call my mommy." Right. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So notate like merchandise, that. little squishy uh, Branco things. So we're gonna give those out to the kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's so important, right? If they yeah. are going to go with someone, <clears throat> go with a professional. Go with the ones that can show you the track record that. We are the best, not because we say it, but we work for you. We 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 just want the opportunity to. Don't just go with your friends or somebody job. that they Please refer. Please don't. You know yeah. that no. uh, or like a part time, Agent. go with somebody that that is full time only, like you guys itself, and mm -hmm. and go with people that are are leading in the industry, like you guys massacre down in South Bay. So Thank it's like yeah. continue working with individuals that are looking at the market on a broad scale. Broad not scale, yeah. Not, oh, I've done one or two transactions, nothing <coughs> against it, but, right. you know, one or two transactions compared to a hundred a year is a lot different. Exactly. Right now. Right. And uh, so. Well, leverage too, you know, we have a team, you know, we have a beautiful team. We just added another one uh, to our team and we're not trying to like, you know, grow this massive team, but the right people come to us. And right now our team is comprised of uh, 10 in individuals, well actually 11 now, with my full-time assistant who is a licensed realtor. She actually, Michelle Gould, she's working right now. She's probably watching the live. She, she's there, you know, helping us to make sure that administrative is taking place, things are happening. 
But at the same time, I have teammates that are out showing homes. I have them, you know, hosting open houses on the weekend. And these guys are butt kickers. They love to work and they're hungry. And that's the difference. You know, I've got a new guy who came from the personal training realm, which is where I came from at one point. Surprise. Yeah, surprise, you know. And he's like engaged. And it's like a similar story. I'm like, okay, if he's hungry, he's going to get his license. He did it. He's like, okay, now what? I'm like, okay, uh -huh. come on over here. <laughs> right? So, but that leverage factor is very important. But we get to educate them, teach them what to do, and help them. And they get to see our example, which I believe in this market is very inspiring because a lot of people that don't have teams, you know, not that I'm, I'm saying to the individual agent, go build a team because believe me, it took three years to finally get that into my head. Like, you need leverage because you're getting stressed out. And I have three kids and we want to be able to do things with them. I got to coach their football, you know, this year. It was really cool to be able to be there and watch my boys play football and, and, and get to grow on that, you know. So that lifestyle factor is what we're all about and adding that value to them and showing them by example is more of a drive for them, not just the money. We're motivated by money, but not because we just like to make money just to make money, no. We love to help people and in return be rewarded with the money because the money helps us to live a lifestyle that we so choose, you know, that honors our value systems. Business 101, you give people what they want and they give you money for it. And you don't have to take our word for it when it comes to the credibility of the Broncos. Just simply go to Zillow and yeah. look at the reviews yourself yeah. and you can find out <laughs> right there. Thank you guys so much for coming in no, today. Thank yeah. you for having me. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Mortgage appreciate key. it. Good to see you, my friend. Always. Yeah, hey, real. thanks. And we will <laughs> continue to do that right here on Smarter San Diego Facebook Live. Stick around for more coming up. Thank you. Awesome.